Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Dope. So, Warner Brothers Games actually acquired Multiverse's developers, um, Player First Games. In all honesty, I didn't know that uh, Multiverse's basically had its own like developers for the games. I thought it was like already Warner Brothers like developers that were working on the game. Um, but looking more into it, you know, um, Player First Games, they're pretty much brand new. Um, a brand new team they started in like 2019 so what is that like five years and the only like doing my research the only game that they've worked on so far is literally just multiverses so it would you know come across as like Warner Brothers like pretty much already like owning them because they haven't made any other games for earlier anybody else it's just you know for Warner Brothers so honestly, what that, does that even really mean for, you know, the acquisition that even happened in the first place? Um, one, I mean, it seems like Warner Brothers is going to have like a tighter grip on the game now. Literally, they pretty much own the team now. I mean, they didn't own them before. Like, I know they worked for them, but like now Warner Brothers has the, let's say if the game dies, let's just say if this game dies, the game is doing good right now, supposedly. Um, let's say the game dies that means they can pretty much just get rid of that whole team they could just pretty much fire everybody from that team or any specific person from that team if they feel like they're not up to par with you know whatever's going on at Warner Brothers um and it seems like even though uh you know player first was pretty much its own like you know team and everything and they're the ones that were primarily working on the game it still seems like they're the ones that still can't like pretty much finalize anything because when you think about it, it's Warner Brothers they pretty much control really anything like most things when it comes to their games even if it's like other developers making the game for them like they'll pretty much have the last say for everything because you know it's their property and they mainly only care about you know monetizing literally anything I mean you can take just like Mortal Kombat for example Mortal Kombat was a great you know series and everything and then Warner Brother kind of like just took over all of it so now you know a lot of people don't like the game i mean i enjoyed it you know maybe for the first like two seasons myself um but then you know like after that it's like you don't have much content left in the game like uh the evasions are cool or whatever but it's you know it's not really that fun and then also like live towers didn't get added into like until like later on and even then they're not like the authentic like towers that we had before and then everything in the game just costs so much on top of like a 70 dollars game just like skins just started out like just ten dollars i mean they heard a bunch of complaints and stuff afterwards and like dialed it back like five bucks but like even then like everything in the game just costs so much just so much money and everything is just a skin here skin there or you know it's whatever whatever but anyways for multiverses um honestly like a lot of people were kind of like just going pretty much back and forth on it like oh it really makes no difference you know if multiverse not multiverse if warner brothers like pretty much bought them out or not and then other people were saying like oh now like this is great news that means the game is actually like succeeding way past than what any of us think i don't even think there's really like really any numbers that has came out yet based on the game i know there's like you know steam charge steam charts and then you know i think there was like an article a while ago saying like it was the best free to play game in the month of like what june i think i'm pretty sure something like that so i mean multiverses is fun just you know it's not a terrible game i know after like the reset like i feel like i lost like m like i feel like i bought a lot of the characters before and they were much easier to unlock but now it takes like 10 years just to unlock a character and now they have like 10 different like buyable things that you can just unlock different things with and you know just more ways pretty much just to make money anyways and then you also have like complaints saying well oh now that um the independent you know developers were bought out now you know there's not going to be any any like like so-called like third-party characters but if you think about it like it's Warner Brothers so like they're gonna they just care about money so if it's gonna make them money like if well, who's not one like uh, everybody's pretty much Warner Brothers at this point I'm trying to think like if they just bring in like freaking like Naruto or something like that if it's gonna make them a billion dollars they're gonna bring in Naruto regardless it doesn't matter if they're if they have like the Warner Brothers IP or anything like that as long as it can fund them some kind of money or something like that they're gonna go for it regardless so I really don't see that like even like being an issue and then I went through like all the 
you know the developers in the company because i went i was trying to see if like player first games had any other games like it just seems like they just came out the gate and then boom they were already partnered with working for activision so like i went through all their profiles just to see like what kind of games that like they worked on or you know what did they do before because it said they were all vets like they all been you know in the game for a long time so that's why they even got to the point of like pretty much working for Warner Brothers in the first place anyways um but like the two CEOs you have like Tony and like Chris um pretty much it seems like both of them met working on God of War um that's pretty much where they met um Riot Games um things like that um, then you have someone else that has had their own studio, like Lightbound, which was like VR games specifically. And then he partnered with them. Someone else that's um, primarily worked for like a bunch of other companies for a while, like Blizzard, Respawn, uh, Amazon Game Studios, um, things like that. There was another one that worked for uh, Sledgehammer. So he was around for Call of Duty type designing and things like that. Then you have your HR person, you know, every company needs HR. Um, there's someone else that's on here that's the technical art director and he has no bio just nothing everybody else has a bio or something for them and what you know how they got there and like how they met and stuff he, he just has nothing it's just it's just blank and then the uh, last person is uh, somebody that worked for team fight tactics it seems like three of them worked on League of Legends like that's probably where they all met and then they were like you know what let's just branch off make our own uh, studio because we can probably do better than all of the ones that are currently working on games I mean they're doing pretty good now multiverses isn't bad it's pretty fun um, I mean, it has its issues here and there. I know I stopped. There's like two main reasons why I even stopped playing in the first place. Is first when Multiverses was happening back then, it seemed like after the mod stopped, like they kept pretty much striking down the game from being modded. Like that kind of killed it for me because I didn't want to sit here and pay ten dollars just for a skin. I ended up doing it anyways, even though the game came back. I ended up doing it anyways because I was like, yeah, this is the only skin I'm probably gonna buy. And of course, it's the Batman Samurai skin. Um, and then the second time is because ranked is just not there yet. Um, it's not implemented yet. So I feel like there was pretty much just no point um, in really playing it. I know they have their like rifts and things like that, their sides. Um, you know, you can get the dude from the Matrix and everything like that that's going on right now. But honestly, I just I just want to get on the game for ranked. I, I'm just more of a competitive, you know, play style type person. So I'm fine with waiting. It's not like, you know, I'm going to be sitting here complaining that I'm waiting so long. It doesn't really matter. They're still trying to figure out the kinks and stuff for the game it was pretty fun the first time it rolled around i played for a while i went through like the first like two you know consistent things for the rift so i think rift like season one season two so it has a lot for you to actually do in the game too which is pretty good and then you know i'm also thinking like since now they're acquired maybe not that they'll allow mods but maybe they won't be as like hammer on with mods as they were with because they don't really care or, like they care but they don't even really care about mortal kombat because I think I modded that since like season one and then multiverses it was just so annoying because like they just, they patched the game so many times and I don't know if that was like Warner Brothers themselves because I mean Warner Brothers also themselves struck my video and I think it was like a, it was a, like a mod teaching video of how like how to mod the game and it got instantly struck it wasn't even like it just got like a warning or anything it just like instantly struck for no reason and then like a bunch of other creators too like they got their video struck for other reasons just for posting multiverse gameplay people were just getting struck over that but i got struck over even though i still have another video that's literally the same type of video explaining how to get mods but now the mods are dead hopefully they'll come back because of the acquisition maybe they won't necessarily care too much i don't know how that would even work and i honestly don't even know how much control that the the, the studio even had like pretty much before they even like were acquired anyways it's probably pretty much just being run exactly the same but now Warner Brother knows that oh they're actually making decent money from this game now well I'm assuming because why else would they just you know buy them out to fire them um, oh, I didn't even see this Samurai Jackets and and Beetlejuice are coming to season two is this is this real Let's go. for multiverses that's cool my bad I got sidetracked but that's pretty much it it was just I think this is like the biggest you know gaming news for you know not for the past couple days but just like today because there's other stuff going on with like Call of Duty and things like that. There's apparently some some modder for like Black Ops 3 that like got outed for like pretty much stealing other people's content and stuff like that and was making his own stuff and then ended up just erasing all of his content. I was thinking about making a video on that, but I didn't really see much other research, you know, on it. But anyways, that's that's pretty much it for the video. Um if you enjoyed, you know, like, subscribe, appreciate it. Any kind of, you know, feedback i appreciate that too um but anyways yep thanks peace out